we're going to look at the housing market here in Colorado Springs quickly but in depth if that makes sense. Last week I talked about how there's more inventory showing up in Colorado Springs and the average and median sales prices look like they might be headed down. So we may have hit our high point at the end of June, beginning of July. Let's take another quick look at this and now that we've been a third of the way through the month and see what's going on. Alright, we're using the Pikes Peak MLS, this is what all the real estate agents put their listings in, in the Colorado Springs area. We have 1,354 properties that are for sale in Colorado Springs. Normally we see about 1,100-ish uh, at any given time, and we have been for a while, so it's encouraging to see a little bit more inventory. Uh, under contract, you've got 1,043, so your under contracts don't seem to have increased. Uh, it's just the number of listings currently for sale. There's just a little bit more for sale, just a little bit of a bump up. Now, if we're going to separate that out, I usually just uh, put it all together. But if you want to separate that by single family, um, there are 1,094 single family homes for sale right now. 168 townhomes, 17 patio homes, and 75 condominiums. Now, if we're going to look at the under contracts, that's 870 single family homes under contract, 95 townhouses, 15 patio homes, and 16, or I'm sorry, 63 condominiums that are currently under contract. Now let's come over here and take a look at the months of inventory and the number of sales. So we ended June at 1.9 months worth of inventory. Um, the months of inventory statistic doesn't really work for the current month, so it's not something I look at. Uh, we've had 137 sales for the month of July so far. Uh, and we're a third of the way into the month. So, I mean, you can see from the past several months, we've had eight to 900 sales uh, for each month. So uh, what does that look like on a year-to-year -year basis? So comparing July of this year to July of last year, July of last year, you had 1,108 total sales. Uh, and then July of 2021, you had 1,490 sales. So we're pretty low, you know, we're, um, you know, if you want to compare the past several months and do it that way, because we had the eight or 900 ish per month in sales. So for 2022, what was this time frame looking like last year? Last year, it was looking like 1300 sales for each month, 1200, 1100. It was a lot. And if you want to go back to 2021, same thing, 1400, 1200 uh, sales in the city per month. So this is looking to be, uh, it's a slow sale year overall, low inventory to start with, and then low sales from that. But now we're seeing potentially even fewer sales for the month of July. Again, already only a third of the way into the month. This is that same chart again, uh, with the green being the months of inventory and blue being the number of sales. So number of sales is very cyclical. Uh, in the winter months, it goes down. In the summer months, it goes up. You'll see it went down quite a bit this last year, and uh, it has not quite recovered in the number of sales for this year, because again, low inventory to across the board for the past several months. This is the average and median days on market for Colorado Springs. So you can see currently we're at an average of 23 days and a median of seven days to sell before a house takes an offer and goes under contract. Uh, that's not very long. It's fairly short. Um, it was about that same amount uh, last year, it's about 20 days in August last year. You'll see we had our high point in February 2023, where it was taking 56 days on average for properties to go under contract. Uh, so with this low inventory, it's just stuff is not lasting long. 
This is fascinating. List price to close price ratio. So homes are getting 100% of what they're asking for on average. It was not always that way. Last year, they were getting 97 to 96% of what they were asking for. So uh, generally, homes are getting what they are listed for as long as they are listed appropriately. Uh, the number of active listings, like the total number of active listings for July so far has been almost 1,800 properties, almost 1,800 active listings for the whole month. And this is low. Although I'm saying the inventory has come up a little bit, we are still relatively low in terms of what has been available for the month. And then when you compare it to what has been available for the past you know, a few years, you can see there's definitely, again, let's look at 1789, 16, look at that, 15 to 17 to 1800 uh, total active listings for the past several months, right? So let's look at uh, April through July of 2022, where that was 1100 to 14 to 19 to 2300. Uh, active listings for July of 2022. So we could potentially hit that again in terms of, you know, what's available. Uh, it's just still not a lot. There is some, but a lot of buyers complain to me about just there's not enough for them to look through. There's not enough choice. And finally, the average and median sales prices for July so far have me worried because it looks like June is when we hit our high point. Uh, June, we had an average of 531000 for our average sales price with a median sales price of 460000 Currently, for July, we're looking at 487000 on average and 445000 for the median. Now, pause the screen and look at these numbers because you can see we had a trend where we came up from last year's drop in prices down to eh, January, February time frame where we hit that low in terms of average and median sales prices. And then we started coming up for the summer and we hit the high point, it looks like, in June. Now, we still have two more months of July. Those numbers could change. But being a third of the way into the month, I'm feeling a little bit more confident in what I'm seeing in terms of what those average and median sales prices are looking like. And it is looking like we're going down in July. This is that same information uh, for the past five years. So the green is the average sales price. The blue is the median sales price. So yeah, we have that dip for July for this month, but you'll notice it's technically a blip in the grand scale of things. Even over the course of just five years, you can see how much the sales prices have increased for properties here. And depending on when you bought, uh, determines how much equity that you have, or if you haven't bought here yet, uh, what kind of equity you may be looking uh, toward or for, uh, looking to see. Uh, I'm again predicting that wintertime we're going to get a seasonal dip in home prices. So July is typically when Colorado Springs sees its high point in prices for the year, if you're going to have the seasonal waves, the up and downs. So, I mean, I think in July, though, is actually like June of this year is the high point. Like July is when it's going down. Like look at July of 2022, where the average sales price was 525K, median 465K. And what did it do? It started going down in August because June, it was cut, still coming up in June. And then it hit its high point. And you could say even June, it hit its high point because the median was 470K in June and then 465K in July. You could even say April because April was 472K and April uh, was 529K. So April was actually a little higher. It came down in June, came back up in July. And we didn't have that uh, for this year. We didn't have that this April where we had two, I guess, high points, you know, in April and then a uh, June, July, um, you know, so somewhere in there, it kind of depending, this is, again, very broad. This isn't describing anybody's specific house, of course, but just generally, it it had some high point during the April, June, May, June, July time, print, uh, time frame, and then came back down. 
that was in 2022. Now, what we're looking to do this year is we hit our higher point in June, and then we're coming back down. Because what did we do in 2021? We had our high point in July and October of 2021. And then prices came back down. So maybe we see that again. Maybe we see another spike uh, later in the fall time for a high point for prices again, as maybe people are wanting to solidify a home purchase uh, before they put their kids in school or, you know, settle down for the holidays, you know, whatever the case is. But I'm seeing prices going down as of now. Now I'm going to show you a house for sale in Colorado Springs, just for the fun of it. Uh, this is an 80918 Central North Colorado Springs. Uh, you can look this one up. It is currently active now, 6590 Stonehenge Drive. Uh, it is in Greenbrier Park. That's the neighborhood. So this is just south of Cottonwood Creek Park, if you are familiar with that area. Built in 1986, a total of 2,200 square feet. Uh, four bed, four bath. Uh, there's a bedroom in the basement, so it looks like the basement is finished. That's nice. You're on a 7,000 square foot lot. There's no HOA here. Uh, these neighborhoods are all built now, built out in the 80s and 90s. Um, lovely neighborhood. Let's go look at some pictures. Yeah, we can talk about, stop talking about how lovely it is and actually show you how lovely this is. Great. I love the the mature trees, and it's what I love about this neighborhood here, because it's right next to where I live. Um, okay. Nice big opening, fireplace right at the open, or in the open area. Okay, nice wooden beam up there. Ooh. Okay. Oh, yeah, okay. I can do this kitchen. Yeah, it, that's basically replaces the island, that, that, this little counter right here. Got your fridge over there. Okay. I don't see room for, a, I, I guess that's your pantry right there. That's where you put your, well, yeah. That's where you put your, when people come over and you have extra plates and stuff. Main level bath. Oh, okay, that's what we came to see. There it is. That back deck is nice. All those trees give you some privacy. Oh, yes. Oh, my. Look at that. That's not. Oh, and then we're upstairs again. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, that's nice. It's open. Um, yeah, open. Oh, you're. Uh, this is one of those where the, the bedroom and the bathroom have that open space up top. So it's not closed off so people can hear you poop. I, I, hey, I'm thinking about the important things here. What is that, a library in there? They turn their closet into a library or something. Ah, there we go. More of the backyard, yes. I want to see that. You could just grow so much. And you have a little front porch area. You can look out on... Okay, yeah, it's tasteful out here. It looks very nice. I don't... And the, Oh, this is more of the backyard. Okay. Oh, and floor plans. I love floor plans. Yes, absolutely. Every time, give me a floor plan. Thank you. So in summary, the Colorado Springs real estate market is still doing well. It's still in demand. It's just low inventory. Nobody wants to sell. Yeah, that makes sense. Home prices look to have hit their highs in June. So July, we're taking a little bit of a, a dip in home prices, it looks like. And we may see prices spike up again and then come down again. Uh, for the rest of the year, they may just come down again for the rest of the year, but that's my prediction is we'll see that seasonal dip. But in terms of demand, the price highs that we had last month were almost as high as what we had at our high last year in 2022. So we don't seem to have really gained or lost anything year to year so far.
And where are prices going to go next year in 2024? I imagine they're going to go back up for the summer again. Uh, we may have some unforeseen global circumstance or black swan event that potentially impacts our economy. But for now, this is where we seem to be headed. If you have any questions about the real estate market here in Colorado Springs, leave me a comment below or send me a DM. My name is Kevin James Bond. I'm a real estate agent here in Colorado Springs, and I would love to help you buy or sell property here in the Colorado Springs area. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.